And most people, when they ask for buy-in, think it means, oh, I'm asking you to get on the bandwagon, join the team, be on the bus, commit to what we're doing. And they think they're engaging people, involving them, including them. But here's the reality. When someone says buy-in, here's what the other person is thinking. Well, let me get this straight. I wasn't in the meeting where you decided what to do. I'm the cog in the wheel, and you want me to turn your way so you can be successful. Uh, did I get that right? Now, surely not everyone thinks that, but it's surprising how often they do think that. So be in is a different approach. It's a way to select the right people in the team. It's a way to get their commitment to the process. It's a way to communicate a preliminary vision, but it's very important that the vision is very preliminary very open. Because if it's open, then people can participate in developing psychological ownership in terms of what the change initiative is all about. But if you provide all the details and all the description of exact, exactly what you want, you've just squished out their opportunity to have any psychological ownership. And so in, instead of being included, now either you have to be directive and you need those decision rights, or they're going to push back because they're not going to have any ownership. Being as a way to overcome those impediments.